Hey y'all, it's your girl Lolo, and today I am just bringing a quick video of a design I thought of. I just want to try out some Irish colors for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I'll put a list of the items that I use to make the design in the description box, and you can order this set at my website, which is 3dnailart.ecrater.com. And you can also see pictures of this design on my blog, which is 3dnailart.blogspot.com. Let's go ahead and get started with the design. Okay, the first thing that I did was with the Mademoiselle on the index and middle and pinky finger, I applied one coat of that. On those those are going to be French manicures and of course I'm just showing one and then I used Ruby Kisses French white to paint the entire thumb and ring finger and I did two coats of that and then after that I did a French manicure on the index middle and the pinky finger and I did two coats of the French white on that as well <laughs> sorry about that guys but anyway yeah I need to talk more huh not going to be able to do it. So anyway, at that point, I applied a thin coat of Mercy Me from the 2012 Crackle Collection. I com did the complete thumb and ring finger. And then I did over top of the French. And to get the French line, I just tap along the line with the very tip see like that that way it looks a little bit neater and you'll see I tried a couple different ways just to see this one I just spread it on and then did the tapping at the tip see. and I did that same thing on the pinky now what I am doing is just putting a one coat of clear top coat just to make it a little bit more smooth. Stop, Bootsy. Stop. Excuse me, let me get my cat right quick. Wait. Get out of here. Bad kitty's trying to tear up stuff. But anyway, yeah, I'm putting one top coat on all of the nails. And then what I'm going to do is take some large emerald color hexagons and apply a rim around the thumb and the middle finger. I think it's called a rim manicure. I don't know. I've been seeing it a lot lately and of course I had to try it. But anyway, I just chose these colors. This just like came to me real quick because I just wanted to see what the color combination will look like. These hexagons they do bleed so I used a very thick old top coat to stick them on and I let it dry completely and it still bled a little bit and then put top coat over after I got finished painting the four leaf clover which you'll see in a few minutes but yeah I'm just going around using as little top coat as possible so that they don't bleed too much But yeah, that was time consuming, as usual. Oh, la la la.
Now I'm going to do the same thing with the ring finger. Being careful not to like slide them in the polish too much either because that'll make them bleed. Just try to like put it on in one motion because the more you slide it around the more chance you have of it bleeding. And like I said, I used a really thick one that way it doesn't move around too much too. Because if you use one that is too wet with bleeding glitters, it'll just really be a disaster. And la la la. Moving right along. Almost finished. Just a few more to go. <laughs> and camera's out of focus. Sorry about that. Alright, now what I am doing is using some green heart rhinestones. I'm using four on each of the index, middle, and pinky to make a little four leaf clover out of those. And I am doing that on all three fingers. And for this I'm using just regular top coat. I didn't use the real thick because you see I put my second coat on there in these two of course you don't want to get too much in the um, top coat because then it'll get all dull and not very shiny so then after that I'm just going to make the rest of the manicure line with the large hexagons on the index middle and pinky finger. And then I will begin to draw or paint the four leaf clover in the middle of the thumb and the ring finger okay so um, to for my palette I used uh, like a bright green a dark green um, a sour apple green it's like apple tart something like that um, and some white and I will show you the palette right there yeah apple tart true green uh, a bright green and then some white and some black see that's the dark green which I'm putting on the bottom and I'm just making my first layer which basically um, I just made like little hearts four little hearts and pulled it into a clover leaf And I do a little stem and I'm doing the same thing on the thumb, of course bigger. I was also trying to experiment to see what it was like to paint on top of crackle. It's okay, it's not great. And then I am going to go around with a darker green I mix black with the dark green and I'm just doing like the outside of the leaves just to make it look a little bit of shadowy and then with the bright green now I'm going to go over top of the middle of the leaves that is after I get done the right finger oops I'm like totally out of the frame sorry about that I guess this one's gonna be annoying sorry but anyway yeah dark outline now I'm going with the bright green which I'm just showed you right there and I'm going to go in the middle to make them pop. And 
do it on the ring finger as well. Then with that sa sour apple or apple tart, I'm just going to do like the tips. Let's make it just a little bit lighter. A little bit on the stem. And then I'll do the same thing to the ring finger. Now I'm going to do a little bit of white, just some dots um, to make highlights. And then what I'm going to do is with that same thick polish, the clear polish, and some emerald green glitter, I'm just going to um, put a little bit on the insides of my four leaf clover so they're all shimmery and glittery. And oops, I got some on the white. That was crazy. And I did it on both fingers. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to finish up with a top coat. The final top coat. And then that is it. So yeah, these are available on my website, which is 3D Nail Art dot ecrater dot com and I will have better pictures up on the um, blog which is 3d nail art dot blogspot dot com thanks so much for watching y'all um, don't forget to rate comment and subscribe